All right, what is going on, guys? It's your boy Jules, and we're bringing back the content here. This is the sixth Halo Custom Edition map review that I'm doing. It's a map called Infestation, where you basically play in as elite, an N elite that fights alongside Flood to fight Marines and shit. Um, this is actually further into the mission. I was recording, got into third phase of it, and realized that my desktop audio was disabled in OBS. So we're gonna just restart the level here. It's all good. So you start off here in this little city that's squared in. You got a big ass gate there. You got some nice bricks, some interesting looking skyscrapers that don't have doors. Um, yeah, it retains a lot of its Halo One, you know, graphic style and textures. Um, the importing, the imports aren't too. The in, God, I can't talk. Fucking talk. The imports aren't that crazy. Um, it's Halo One weapons and character models with the exception of the navy men like you see here that have edited colors and that's pretty much it at least so far i haven't played through the third phase of the mission yet so hopefully this time i can actually play through it yeah i made sure audio is on and all that so we should be good now so you just got these unarmed civilians, I guess, just running brainlessly while we're fighting alongside Flood and some are, some elites, I don't know. I noticed some of the elites, they don't appear red, except right here. Now these are red. In my crosshair. Shit. God, the flinch that the sniper creates is crazy. Keep being staggered. So the goal in this part is just to eliminate all the enemies and overrun it. That is done. Breaking through the wall. And here we are. You gotta use the Halo 1 soundtrack as well for this. These Marines are literally just clueless. So now we're in some type of a hydro dam after coming out of a pipeline. It's gonna be a deep drop. Should be fine though. I keep trying to quick skip. I don't know why these guys were thrown in. They should have at least given them pistols or something.
Those Marines are getting wrecked. And here we are. So we're in Elite. And I just jumped off the Hydra Dam. So now this is actually pretty cool. They got Zanzibar from Halo 2. I guess they probably ported it straight from the uh, Windows Vista. Still Halo 1 models, Halo 1 type textures, and weapons. But it is pretty dope that they brought this map in. Alright. Rifle OP. I like how that grunt was just absolutely unaware to everything that was happening. Shooting past this blade is going to be hard. Shit, I'm staggered. Every time my health takes damage, I get insanely staggered. Oh shit, I'm gonna die here. Yeah, I'm not surviving that. Okay, so it starts us back over here, which is pretty bummy. And I'm aware I probably want to save sniper ammo. Shit, these damn hunters. And there's the fuel rod cannon runs up top too. Maps, it's insane. Oh shit, son. Shit. Whoa. 
I'm hitting a texture. I keep hitting something. That's actually retarded. The character definitely moves like an elite. Not, there's no nimble movement. Okay, now we got a new Mombasa out here. That was the wrong way. So which way do they want me to go?
get in this thing? Apparently not. See why we need that fuel rock cannon. Actually managed to blow that shit up with small arms. That's crazy. All right, hunters. Let's go. Forgetting was to just kill a bunch of shit that was still on the map. I think that's what this mission is heavily based on, just eliminating enemies only. And there's one we missed over there. Looks like, so we'll take care of that and then hopefully I should proc whatever comes next. Like how this guy was just chilling meanwhile a whole tank in front of me just got wrecked. Okay, there we go. Now we got the new objective point. And a checkpoint. Wish we could drive vehicles. That'd be nice. It'd be hella convenient right now. So I guess what we're supposed to be doing is dropping bodies so the infection forms can make more blood. Which totally makes sense in the story. basically their free body dispenser. <clears throat> I mean, this was nicely done. Even though, of course, it would be nice to always have, you know, some type of a voice acting or fighter directions. To what the objective is and where to go. Nav points more often. But still, can't complain too much. It's pretty good. 
not too bad. The first time I had played this map in the past, I'd only played through the first portion. Um, hadn't gotten past it though, I guess I was playing on a higher difficulty. And uh, it was a pain in the ass, so I didn't really bother coming back to this mission. But I gotta say, this mission, even though it might look like it could be boring or a breeze, if you throw this shit on a higher difficulty, because I have it on easy right now just for the sake of showing the completion, um, you throw this shit on higher difficulties, and that goes for any map, it will be a lot more challenging. And probably a lot more fun too. So don't hesitate to try that out. I guess this might be it for the entire mission itself. Um, we're just taking a banshee and going somewhere. Don't know if there's another phase to this mission or not. You can barely drive this shit. We're landing. Well, we're not landing. Flying the hell away. Oh, okay. So do we have a fourth section here? easy. It's not even fair. But yeah, now you throw this shit on Heroic the Legendary, you'll probably be getting clapped. And same with me as well. Like I said, on a higher difficulty, I couldn't make it past that first portion of the mission. I was struggling greatly. So what is this supposed to be? Is this supposed to be like an airbase or something? I don't even know. Those window textures got me confused as to what the hell this is supposed to even be. again. Every time I get hit with no shield on, it just I get staggered severely. Shit is annoying. Oh yeah, hunters could actually take damage through their armor in this game. Okay. The hell am I supposed to go next? Oh, down here. Okay. Okay, this is pretty interesting. Oh, shit. Oh, so this mission is actually humans and Covenant working together just to stop. The road to lead, I guess. And I'm guessing there should be another drop down where our door is going to open. Did the door fail? I think this door was supposed to open. I think that door is supposed to open, but something's actually wrong right now with the mission. Alright, script error. Yeah, so let's just reload the checkpoint real quick. I think we had a problem with scripting. Yeah, 
leaves that one open. It's... Ah, okay, it's not even a script in here. I'm wrong. I'm just stupid. Let's cut through the vent. Here, there's another drop down. I guess maybe possibly this map area is giving me a rat race vibe a little bit slow, but it's alright. This is a professionally done mission. Alright, this is ripped right out of the end of the mall. This little portion. This is really nice map mixing, though. Like, this is actually really good. Can we take one of the hogs, though? No, we cannot. This is the corridor from the mall. So we didn't get to take a warthog with clothes. So I'm guessing we just keep going? Oh, there's a turn right here. Oh, this gets pretty interesting. This map is definitely pretty dope. Um, we got a teleporter? Oh shit, it takes us to a longsword. So yes, yeah, so this is all from the mall here, but this is really nice. It's been redone texture-wise, color-wise. This is beautiful. This is really good. Who are we looking for? That guy just got shanked. Oh, that's the end of the mission. Because now we are at CMT A10. All right, so yeah, so that's pretty much the mission there. Um, I got to admit, that's actually pretty cool. That wasn't a bad mission at first. I thought it was literally just going to be that city fight section because I could never make it past it originally. But the other portions of the map are actually really cool, and especially once you get through third phase and you continue on from there. It's really awesome. So um, I would definitely give the map a playthrough. Um, I would give it like an 8.5 out of 10. Put it, throw it on a higher difficulty if it's a bit too easy. If you want more of a challenge, definitely throw it onto a higher difficulty and see how it goes there. And just enjoy it. This map is dope. Um, download link will be in the description and all the author's info and the author's description of the map will be there as well, as well as my written review. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like if you did, comment uh, if you have any map suggestions for what I should play. Come with the name, come with the Halo Maps link. I'll go and download it. And uh, yeah, sub if you want more videos. And I'll catch you guys next time. Later.